When people talk about flat of the curve economics in the healthcare system, what do they even mean by that? And in this video, I'm hoping to convince you that this is actually a really important concept if we want to understand how healthcare systems evolve and how they could evolve in a way that is not optimal. So the key here is that this comes from the healthcare production function. And I have another video on that, which I'll link to below. But the key is we have health spending on the x-axis. That's all health spending in the system. And we've got quality adjusted life years on the y-axis, which is basically how many years does the healthcare system add to the average person's lifespan or how much pain reduction in that lifespan is sort of translated into years of life. That's quality adjusted life years. It's a measure of health. And we're thinking, when we think about this uh, production function, about all of the technology that we integrate into our healthcare system. And so we make a huge long list of all of the technologies that our system covers, that you can get taken care of, or you can get added to your health uh, bill when you go to the doctor. And then we rank those according to their cost effectiveness. That's how we get the shape of this production function. So as an example here, we have these technologies. We've got dialysis, we've got prenatal care, diabetes management, knee surgery, and earwax removal. And of course, our list would be way longer than that, but I'm just trying to illustrate things. So to come up with uh, this shape, we're going to rank these in order and put the most effective, um, the most valuable treatment first. So let me rank this list according to the quality adjusted life years per dollar that these add to the population's health. So those are my rankings, meaning I thought that prenatal care is the best way of improving health. So we'll put prenatal care first. And then second, I had diabetes management, so we put that second. Third, I had dialysis. So you sort of get the picture that we're lining things up in the order of how much they add to our health. So let me actually fill out this graph so that we can think about um, what's over here on the flat of the curve, because of course this part is the flat of the curve. It's, it's where that curve gets really, really flat. And so just to be clear, earwax removal might be this one, uh, knee surgery might be this one, but eventually once you get far out enough on this production function, each additional technology you add only adds a very, very tiny amount to the actual health of the population. And so when people talk about the flat of the curve in healthcare economics, they're really talking about, are we adding a bunch of technologies that uh, hugely increase medical spending? They move a lot down this direction on this graph, but they don't actually improve health that much. They just sort of add a lot of money into the healthcare system. And that's what people are worried about when they talk about the flat of the curve. It's this part of the curve. And they're really worried about, are these new technologies worth it? Or are we just bloating the healthcare system? Now, one thing that I'm worried about in terms of this is what if you get a technology out here that doesn't really add that much to people's health, but it's super, super lucrative. And what if you get a situation where some of these technologies that are really great for health are not very lucrative? Could you have the system sort of readjust so that there's a lot of this health done, but we kind of skip out on some of the health technologies over here because maybe they're just not that profitable or maybe they're even negatively profitable, like doctors do these um, out of the good of their heart rather than because they're actually being properly reimbursed. In which case, you could get a system that doesn't do enough of this kind of stuff and does way too much of the stuff out here. And that system is going to be super expensive, super high on the healthcare spending, but perhaps it may not get uh, very good results when it comes to quality adjusted life years. And so that's really the conversation that's happening when we're talking about flat of the curve in economics. The curve in reference there is the production function, the healthcare production function. And the flat of the curve is the part of the curve where we're not really adding much to, to health, but we're adding a whole lot to the financials in the system.